Courtney. Hey, just uh, came to see if Courtney was all right. Jax. Okay, look, feel free to make any assumptions you want, but I'm not going to dignify them with a response or an apology. Now, if you're implying that I think something went on between you and Jason last night, the thought never crossed my mind. Jason obviously got stuck in the blizzard and needed a place to stay. Actually, that is what happened. Hmm. Yeah. It's me. I hadn't heard from her life. She didn't come pick Christina up? Nope. I got word that they found Rick's car up by Eagle Creek, covered with snow, and uh, no sign of uh, Rick or Alexis. Any tracks? Yeah, it's all covered. PCPD says they're going to mobilize the search, but I want all, all our people up there. Okay, I'm on it. What happened? Rick and Alexis were supposed to pick Christina from Sonny's. They never showed, then they found Rick's car abandoned near Eagle Rock. Well, if they've been out all night... We don't have any time to waste. What do you mean, we? Alexis is a dear friend of mine. I'm going to help with the search. Did you talk to Father Coates? Uh, yeah, he said he'd have the church ready for the christening as, um, as soon as everybody got back. Hey, hey, what happened? Oh, Alexis and Rick got stranded near Eagle Rock. Wow, are they all right? Yeah, they're fine. Sonny and Jax will have to find him. Sonny and Jax? That's an unlikely pair. <laughs> well, Sonny didn't didn't want to start the christening without Alexis, and Jax offered to help look, so now everything can go off as scheduled, except for one little detail. What's that? Sonny asked me to get the christening gown, and I completely forgot. I know, I know, and now now it's too late. The, the stores are all closed. I, well, look, look, uh, Alexis must have something that Christina can wear. Yeah, but a christening gown, it's supposed to be special, Dad. Maybe I can help. Uh, here, luck. I bought this for my, my daughter. Sam, it's beautiful. You know, I was a little clueless about sizes, so I think it's probably a little big. In the length, you might have to take it out or alter it somehow, I don't know. You don't have to do this. I want to, Jason. I, I think it would be perfect. Hey, sweetheart, you know, you were always good at that kind of thing. Now I've got a emergency sewing kit in the back. Anything else you need? Ah, uh, scissors. You got it. thing you did for Christina. Well, I just did what seemed right. So, come on. Come with me to the christening. She really had a, she had a great time here. You're not playing around. Good. I'm glad I want her to have a good time. I want you to be happy, okay? Hey, here's the christening gown. Where'd you get it? Uh, Sam. It's the one she bought for her baby. We had to do some alterations, but I'm sure it'll take Christina just fine. Thank you. I think it's beautiful. Why didn't Sam bring it, Jay? Uh, she, you know, wasn't sure she should come or not. You understand? Um, okay, well, we, get, we better get going, right? Uh, I'm gonna have to go home and change. I don't no, have anything to wear. We're not gonna have any time. Your roads what? are really, really still very bad. Okay. Alexis, maybe, um, I've got something in my closet that will work for you, something, um, conservative enough for you. I haven't worn a size two since I've been 12. Maybe I've got some old maternity wear. Very nice. Great. Isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. There's a season for giving. Okay, everybody, before we get started, let me uh, explain what's going to happen here over the next few minutes. Hey. Hey. You decided to come? Yeah, I did. I wanted to say a prayer that your daughter is healthy and well. Well, you know, uh, our daughter saved Christina's life, and I'm not going to forget that. I know. Will you excuse yeah. me? Yeah. Thanks. 
Thanks for coming, and uh, thanks for bringing her. Well, I'm Christina's grandfather. You know I'd be here. Yeah, well, it's funny, you know. I mean, the longer I'm a father, the more I realize that nobody's perfect, you know. I mean, nobody has the right to judge another parent's choices. You did what you had to do. You, you tried to fix what you broke. I'm grateful. Hey. Glad you came. It feels a little awkward. But I'm, I'm glad I came too. Welcome, everybody. Before we get started, if I could speak to the godparents, that would be great. Oh, yeah. Uh, Carly, she's... Uh, Carly. Yeah. Carly? Yeah, Carly. Carly? She's the parents of Christina's two brothers, and uh, I, I want her to be a godmother. Did you have any intention of running this by me at all? A, a, a godparent is a child's special protector, and I, I know Carly could do that, so, I mean, it's not a big deal, right? Okay. Fine. Carly can be the godmother. Okay. And Jason, I, I thought, would be great. And Rick will be the godfather. Well, he's already the stepfather. So. Which point? Well, the point is that Jason is better suited, and he's a Catholic. He's my husband and your brother. And I understand you may have some issues with him, because I have many with Carly. So if you want me to accept Carly, you're going to have to accept Rick. Parents, you have asked that Christina be baptized. Now, in doing so, you are accepting the responsibilities of teaching her the practices of the faith. It will be your duty to raise her to live by God's commandments as Christ taught us. Teach her to love God and all our neighbors. You clearly understand what I'm asking you to do. Yes, we do. Great. Godparents, are you ready and willing to help Sonny and Alexis with their duties as Christian parents? We are. We are. Great. Christina. The Christian community welcomes you with great joy. Now, in his name, I'm going to claim you for Christ your Savior. And I'm going to do that by making a sign of the cross on your forehead, like I did here, Mommy. Okay? You okay? Yeah. It's really beautiful, sir. Is it your wish that Christina be baptized in the faith of the church? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I baptize you, Christina Adela Corinthos Davis, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Christina Adela, you have become a new creation, and you've clothed yourself in Christ. See that white garment as an outward sign of your Christian dignity. And with the help of your family and friends, by word and example, take that dignity into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. 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 Hey, what's, what's no, wrong? I, I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I came by to say a prayer, and I no. didn't realize that it was Christine. No, it's, it's okay. Okay. Uh, they took Nicholas to Pentonville. It's not forever. You know, it, it can't be, but I miss him already. <laughs> you know, it's snowing on Christmas Eve. Not supposed to be magic, Chase. We should make a wish. I'm dreaming tonight of a place I love. 
Even more than I usually do And although I know It's a long road back I promise you I'll be home for Christmas You can count on me Please have snow and mistletoe And presents by the tree Christmas Eve will find me Where the love of light gleams I'll be home for Christmas If only can count on me Please have some snow and mistletoe and presents by the tree Christmas Eve